In 1944, Miro became interested in ceramics. A friend from his youth, Josep Llorenz Artigas, introduced him to the mysteries of this technique. His first creations were decorated plaques and vases. He went on to make some clay figurines of a highly archaic appearance and tried his luck with fragments of an old abandoned earth kiln. By the mid-1950s, Artigas was living in the village of Gallifa. He and his son, Juan Gardi Artigas, worked with Miro on a solid, ambitious body of work, which include large format pieces and murals. Firing alters strokes, colors and materials. The ultimate master of work is fire. Its action is unpredictable, and its power can be deadly. At the beginning of the 1960s, Miró and Artigas were concentrating on monumental works, some of them designated for the labyrinth at the Foundation Mac in Saint Paul de Vence. Miro's ceramic work grew in size, as had happened with paintings and sculpture. In 1955, he made the murals for UNESCO, followed by other commissions for public spaces in different countries. The know-how and sensitivity of Llorenz Artigas supported Miro in the fields of ceramics. Miro's ceramic murals mark the technical maturity he attained over the years. In 